Let's analyze together Lucy Group. What an insane after more than 40% in one day. The spike was almost 100%. Look at that. That's insane. What the hell happened here, Enrique? Yeah, and, and almost 200% from the $6 area. This is insane. And I think there were some rumors about the Saudi Arabian public investment fund uh, purchasing the whole company, you know, the possibility about it. They didn't confirm it yet. And this is just a rumor, but as usual, we we bring here the news and you have to take into account that the spike was insane so maybe there is something that we don't know or maybe the price is overbought let's analyze it together yeah this particular point when you see like one more than 100 percent in, in a takeover i think it's way too high uh so always uh also it it went down obviously to 12 but at this particular point i think we should wait a little bit because if you if you want to buy the stock the best price was between six dollars and nine and but now 12 15 17 is way too high yeah i think like in the in the one hour chart we can see it with more detail we have this kind of descending channel you know parallel channel and after the breakout i think that was like the optimal level to start buying the this stock you know for the short term and for the long term and and it got confirmed you know it, it was like the perfect price then we have this kind of pattern right here we will make some videos about technical trading soon and you have this kind of triangle to the upside and at, after the broke the breakout it happened again you know we have the upside of more than 100 percent so right now we don't have that signals uh, in order to know where to position ourselves this is just like betting if the price will go up or down and yeah. personally i don't like betting uh, on trading you know Better technical analysis indeed. So right now, maybe the price go uh, the price goes below, you know, to back to nine dollars or something like that. So at this particular point, there is a lot of risk because if you buy the stock right now and the stock goes down, you will be suffering like a loss of more than twenty percent just because you you bought it at uh, at, at, at the worst price possible, you know. So it's better just to stay on the sidelines, not to do anything at this particular point, in my opinion. Yeah, in my opinion, also, that's the thing right now. I would wait. And if the price opens around this level and in the intraday chart, for instance, the 15 minute or the five minute chart, you see like a technical pattern on some bullish signals. You can buy there, position your stop losses and, and go with it. That would be a nice entry. But if you are just betting on what the price will do, maybe you, you are correct. You know, you, you guess this one, but in the long term, that isn't a way to, to do trading, you know, in, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And for instance, let's analyze what happened with this company since the start, because I think this is very interesting. Wow, that's insane. An, <laughs> yeah, an after of 550% almost, you know, yeah, 550%. It's insane, you know, nice profits. But then a drop in the price of more than 90% from that that highs, you know. So that's, I think that's the situation you have to think about. Why, why would they pay uh, a higher amount? They, they don't need to, you know. Yeah, exactly. Look at the downturns that we suffered then. Um, and, and the last one was minus 90%. Uh, and when they have a takeover like this, it's like, I don't have to pay $20 to, you know, to buy the whole company. If they don't want it, okay, I won't buy it. I mean, they, they, they have a, uh, an advantage here because the company is experiencing losses again and again and again. So the risk, they have all the risk already when they are buying this, the all shares, you know. So they don't need to... Uh, uh, to increase the price to buy the company then the company's yeah. losses you know have that in mind yeah i think maybe if they know something about the future of the company that we don't know yet uh there are some kind of news that, that aren't released maybe the 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 purchase price could be higher than 18 dollars you know the possibility is mm -hmm. there we're just talking about uh, our past experience with with our takeovers and the thing that we see with this technical analysis but if there is something that we don't know also, if you think about it, let us know in the comments. Um, maybe the price could be higher. You know, the company could say, no, I don't want to sell it at $20. So they have like to offer 30 or 40. It could happen, you know, but it is, in my opinion, it is not the most probable scenario, but you never know. Yeah, look at the losses, you know, and the interest rate hikes, it was the, the worst thing ever for, for this company. And I didn't expect a better quarter uh, in, in, the, in, in the last one in 2022. So... Yes, technical analysis, guys. Um, the takeover, I mean, if you want to the, the buy the stock right because of that, it's too late, in my opinion. That's what I want to say. Okay, yeah, in my opinion, um, manage the risk properly. See the pre-market just pumped up a little bit. Well, a little bit, almost uh, 3%, almost 4 So the volatility will be huge. You can also take mm -hmm. that for sure. 
So if you see something strange, the price dropping very fast and you are not comfortable, uh, learn from that experience and in my opinion, get out. And if you are good to go, you can trade it, but always with risk management. Guys, we have a video on the right for you. Keep watching us, human traders. Thank you. Have a nice week.